Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Leo, what do you need to know about love? I'm going to struggle to uh, shuffle today because I hurt my finger quite badly yesterday while building the, this wardrobe here. I'll show you in a bit. Hold on. Bear in mind, loves. These are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended readings. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but Patreon would probably be the best price. Right. I've got incense burning, so if you see any little wispy things, it's that. No ghosties, just just my incenses fully right there on, <laughs> smoking away. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on. I built this yesterday. Sorry about the mess, but yeah, that's that's what happened. I haven't finished uh, putting everything together yet. So there's still there's still mayhem around me. All right, Leo. What do you need to know about love? Okay. Yeah. And love. I'm tuning into you. I felt I felt you then. of the deck. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Well, let's have a look at this. The overall vibe here is I feel like you were kind of in the headspace of that you wanted to settle down and have a serious relationship. But um, they had other ideas with the uh, Five of Swords here, crossing it, crossing the hero fence. I don't think that this is about cheating. There's this sort of feeling of like the other person in this relationship trying to have more power. Does that resonate with you? Let me know in the comments below. Shouldn't I, I feel like your mindset is, well, shouldn't we be equal in this? Partners? It, it sort of feels like they they want to have they want to be the one in the relationship that wears the pants what you need to know right now all right high priestess what's coming up tell me more Secrets. This, uh, this is someone who said they'd love you forever. Well, forever seemed to take too long. This is someone who said they love you for who you are, but uh, it seems like they've decided they don't like who you are anymore and they want that to change. They want who you are to change so that they can... It's a power thing. It does feel like a power thing. It's like who you are and what you do used to suit them and now it doesn't. And, and now, now they're not, it's like their emotions aren't available to you anymore. 
whereas they once were. They, they once were, very much so. You were in a committed relationship with this person, but I just feel like they... I'm hearing one side of them before saying, I love you, who you are, and, and it's almost like you came in and you rescued them. But over time, things have changed and... and I don't think they love you anymore. That's that's the feeling I'm getting. Their emotions aren't available to you anymore. Something like there's some resentment that's come over time. Tell me more. Tell me more about this resentment. What's this resentment? Anything else to add to that before we say it again? ultimatums from them ultimatums about who your friends are um, who you speak to um, what your online presence is um, ultimatums uh, if you go here and you see this person then we're done if you post this online or that thing that you posted online, take it down or we're done. I don't like you talking to these people. I don't like you having this. This is a power move from them. But they don't love you anymore. So why do they want to have power over you? I see little bits of smoke coming this way. It's, yeah. Incense. Cleansing the room. I feel like they've kind of been slightly checking up on you and, and your online presence a little bit with this. Maybe looking looking in your DMs, looking at what kind of messages people are sending to you. What are you following? Why are you following that really hot person so you can just keep looking at their hotness? I don't like what this person said in your DMs. Trying to have power. We've got a little message from the universe is that you kind of put yourself in this position and you can get yourself out of it. You know, you allow someone to treat you in a certain way. Sorry, it's getting very smoky over the camera there. If you allow a person to treat you a certain way, that's what becomes normal and that's how they're going to treat you. So it's up to you. If you let them treat you like this, that's that's what's going to happen. You know? What's coming up in the near future? Why is the Ace of Wands here for what's coming up in the near future? New beginning. Fresh start. Oh, well that would be why. kind of looks like you're either going to take a break from each other or you're going to end the relationship. It's a uh, looks like a choice that's going to be made. We've got the ending here. We've got releasing the fear and making a choice. For a new beginning. Nice temperance here in reverse. Best you can hope for. I can't move my hands because of my hurty finger. 
temperance in reverse here but let's see what happens. just I feel like what I'm hearing is that your patience has worn thin with this person's demands and um this power struggle. I feel like at some point in your life, you um, made the mistake in a relationship of giving into your partner's demands completely, not this person, someone else. And that relationship ended because, you know, there was a lot of resentment there and you kind of ended everything that you had. You did everything that they asked for and, and then, you know, it turned out that, that that wasn't really what they wanted. I just saw 11-11 on the clock. And I, I kind of get the feeling that you learnt that lesson then and you weren't, you're just not going to give this person everything that they wanted. I'm not going to give in to their demands and the power struggles because you already learned that lesson and you tried to give them everything that you could but they just kept fighting you for it and not really giving you anything emotionally back because they weren't in love with you anymore so it looks like you're you're ending this and you don't want to because it's going to break your heart Focus on other things, mate. Sorry, I'm getting very, it's a very smoky incense stick. <sighs> that way. Focus on, focus on you, focus on your work, focus on anything but love right now. And then we've got the outcome here. Which is six of cups. Oh, just saw one, two, three, four on the clock. That's sort of like stage of numbers, things moving. It's it's the ending of one thing and moving forwards onto the next kind of thing. So we've got the six of cups in the outcome, which is life's got something to offer you now. You know, if you end something that's not serving you, that's not good for you, that's kind of pretty toxic to be honest this is where good things come in like this kid's offering the other kid like a cup full of well some flowers tell me more about this outcome I'm going to take it into the extended after this after I've read this where I'm going to ask about this person from the past week how do they really feel about you what are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. Well, let's have a look at this outcome. Why is the Six of Cups here for the outcome? It's for the best I'm kind of seeing. This, yeah. You know, the end of a relationship is the beginning of you know, something new for you, something, this is just such a gentle, lovely card, you know, it's, it's, I sort of get the feeling that when you leave this relationship, you actually realise how happy you are on your own, and um, it sort of reminds you of the times in your life. And it sort of makes you feel like, ooh, we can do this again, we can do that again, you know. Now that I don't have that relationship, all those things that you gave up for this person, they're coming back and it sort of feels like, ooh, nostalgia. It's, it's all good. You don't have to fit yourself into a tiny little box for this person anymore.
challenge spirituality and practice. Pra I can't even talk. Practicality. I am sort of feeling that, you know, a lot of this relationship ending is because you're a gut feeling that you, you're, if you don't end it, you're going to end up being so unhappy for the rest of your life with this person. <laughs> you know? Balancing that out and, uh, I don't know, following through with that thought process, like, um, if I stay with this out of duty or whatever, I'm going to die miserable. So, it's kind of about doing something about it and following your gut, following your intuition and your love lyric for the day. This one keeps coming out. Oh, let me give it a good shuffle. This one came out yesterday. Let's come out again. All right, go on then. Came out yesterday, but it's uh, by me. Jen Dawson, good enough. You have me now and all my baggage. I've been made to feel less than worthy. I want to turn that around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough. You can now find that tune um, on iTunes, Jen Dawson, and uh, my friend Taka did the music, and it's called Good Enough. Thanks for joining me. See you later.